it's Megan Jackson from Joyful Mud Puddles. I am so thrilled you are here with me today. So here we are. I am going live in my Facebook group. If you are not part of my Facebook group, but you're listening to the replay on my podcast or YouTube channel, I invite you to join us in the Dental Peaceful Parenting community on Facebook. And if you're here with us live, I'm so excited. Thank you for joining me. Please be sure to invite your friends. That is a wonderful uh, way of connecting and finding support for your parenting journey. So today I am going to be talking to you all about how, you know, we are more than just a mom. And if for the dads listening to, thank you, thank you for joining us because honestly, parenting advice is applicable to everybody. And I have even found that a lot of the relational and relationship communication, everything we talk about really applies to everybody. So hold with me, join us today. Um, before we jump in, let me pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all here together today. You've called each listener here and it is only by you and your miraculous being that you have brought us all in this circumstances right here together today to hear what you have to say to us. I pray for safety, for health, and that honestly, you will speak to each person individually, whether it's something that, that you've inspired me to say, or it's directly from the Bible, or other comments that people are sharing their their circumstances with us lord please i pray that so everyone will gain something from our time together amen thank you again for joining us i'm so thrilled that you are here and i want to remember that not everybody listening might be a christian but i do hope you will stick with me and i know that there is so much applicable even and just where you're at as a mom and in our conversations together. We're talking about not losing yourself, which I know resonates with so many of you. If you haven't had a chance to pick up a copy of my new book, it's a devotional called, oh, there we go, pointing it at the screen. Uh, it's a new devotional that I just wrote called Joyful Motherhood. It's all about deepening your connection with God and your children. It's available on Amazon and Kindle. I'll make sure I have links for that. But I'm working through each of the devotionals over the next, oh, I figured it's going to take like a year and a half if I did it every other week. So there's so much amazing content that God has asked me to share because honestly, I've been rereading the book myself and I'm like, wow, well, this is great advice. And then I realized that, I wrote it. So there you go. It's still applicable. I need to take my own advice. So let me get started and read this. If you are watching live, please do give StreamYard access uh, and then write comments because it's going to show up on my screen. If you are watching the replay or listening later, please message me, drop me a line, comment, like, subscribe, all those wonderful things, and I honestly will get back to you right away because I love sharing with my community. So if we look at the first one, so you're getting a sneak peek into the book. See if you like it. There you go. But we were talking about how we are more than just a mom. Motherhood changes everything. It turns your life around and consumes you. Your tiny precious baby needs all your attention. Even as you grow, your children need you but it can begin to feel like it's become your identity. I want to remind you, my friend, that you are more than just a mom. Don't get me wrong, being a mother is to be honored and is very worthy, but you are more. Don't lose yourself in the journey of parenting. Your children can see that you can see that and you will too. Resentment, bitterness, longing and depression can set in when you think of all the other things in life that you had wanted to do. I remember slowly packing away more and more of my craft supplies with each new baby that I brought home. We needed the space and handiwork was not a priority. 
I love to be creative and crafting is my outlet. I didn't notice the difference in me at first as I was too busy with my boys. But as time went on, I began to miss it. One day while cleaning out my closet, I brought out a sewing machine. The boys were fascinated and asked me to show them how it worked. This opened up a whole new way for my children to connect with me. And it was really, really amazing. I'm going to stop here because I was reading directly from here. But I, I wonder, my question is, does this resonate with you? If you're listening and watching, do you, what are some things that you put aside from your passions and from what you were really into when you became a mom? Did you notice you losing yourself? And if you didn't, that's fantastic. Like, I'm so thrilled for you. What's held you together? What's kept you being you and being a mom? Because I think that's where a lot of people struggle. They get so consumed with this role as mother that, I mean, it's, it's in your face. The kids are in your face, right? They're there every day, completely dependent on you, needing you. And then you get tied up with that. And I remember at first loving being needed and being too exhausted to even notice probably but then you know you, you start getting resentful they got quiet time they got tv time and i was stuck doing the dishes it's like i never got a break and i still don't sometimes i have to be intentional about that because i'm either spending time with you while they're plugged in right now but then when am i going to get my break when am I going to do anything that I enjoy? And when I took the time to find some fun things that I liked and bring that back in, my kids were amazed. I got this idea when I was reading the book, The Brave Art of Motherhood. It's a fantastic book by Rachel Maureen Martin. And it was like a, a loving kick in the butt that I needed, right when I needed it too. But she was reminding you that, you know, you need to be you as well as a mom. And you're not doing your kids any favors by hiding that part of you because they watch every single thing that you do. And so if you're being this martyr or if you're just serving, serving, serving all the time without ever caring for yourself, you're now teaching that to your children. They're learning that that's what adults do. Well, you don't want that for your kids. When they grow up, you want them to be able to balance their life. Well, it starts with you. You need to figure out how to balance your life, balance your family, and then teach that, model that as you go along. It's hard. I'm not, I'm not saying that. So back to the devotional, I wanted to remind us that be sure to keep up with your hobbies, passions, and interests. Share what brings you joy with your family. Not only is it a great model for being a healthy adult, but it will also bring you closer too. Your children want to get to know the real you. Wow, who is the real you? Have you forgotten? Maybe you need to journal about that. And if that's something you want to do, check in with me. I have some amazing journals as well as some fabulous connections with those who have been my guides as well and helping me to journal and find out who I am, what's most important to me, where did I lose myself in all of this. One of my favorite cheerleaders is my older sister. So she's been very instrumental in getting me back into myself, which is so wonderful. Someone else wants to know the real you too. We're talking about our kids and we're talking about making sure you find yourself. Now, in doing so, one thing you might want to do is go back to what did you used to enjoy? Like if you completely lost yourself and you're like, I don't even know anymore. What did you do enjoy doing years ago? Try it out. If you're over it and it's not your thing anymore, that's cool. That's okay. When you're scrolling through your news feed, what piques your interest? What are you watching on Netflix? That might be an indication of things that interest you. 
Or maybe you might be struggling in a certain area and you want to just focus on reconnecting with healthy eating or a better lifestyle or things that sometimes our needs, what we feel we're needing in the moment is another good indication of some areas that you could spend time on for yourself. So again, when you do those things, it's amazing the connection you can make with your children and modeling for them having a passion, being interested, being alive. It brings that joy back. I've heard over and over again how so many families are, are feeling like the joy is gone, especially now that everyone's you know, social distancing and we're just at home all the time. And it's a lot more challenging. I understand that. And there is a difference between depression and just feeling a bit down. So if you're really struggling, reach out. You are not alone and you do not need to go through your situation alone. There are plenty of people wanting to help and bring you up out of that. So if send me a message or, or help out a friend if you notice they are struggling more than usual. And even if you think it's just a tiny bit, that's usually the tip of an iceberg but for a huge thing that they are probably sheltering and hiding from the rest of the world. So be mindful of your friends and check in on them. I've lost my train of thought. So if <laughs> I feel like sometimes that I just have so many wonderful things I want to share and then I get all rambly and uh, forget what I was saying. So I'm going to move on. And then I'll circle back and be like, oh, now I remember what point I wanted to make. So We'll get back to whatever I was talking about, or you can mention it in the comments and help me out. But I wanted to remind you that someone else wants to get the know the real you too. When I say you are more than just a mom, I want you to know that you are a daughter too. Not only do you have your earthly parents, but you have a loving heavenly father who cares deeply for you. In 2 Corinthians 6, 18, it says, I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Isn't that beautiful? We're going to be his sons. We are his sons and daughters. He's our father figure. And if you've had a challenging time with your earthly parents, or if they are no longer part of your life or, or alive, you are not alone. You still have that heavenly father who wants to get to know you, who loves you unconditionally. Uh, the verses for this passage that I've been reading, the little extra readings for you, is Galatians 4, verses 4 to 7. So I'm going to read that to you now. But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive the full rights of sons. Because you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into your hearts, the spirit who calls out, Abba, Father, so that you are no longer a slave, but a son. And since you are a son, God has also made you an heir. And of course, they are talking about sons and daughters. But, I mean... Wow, you are a daughter of the king. Yes, you, you the one listening in. You the one reading the devotional, reading the Bible. You are joint heir with Christ Jesus. Can you feel the power and the love in that statement? It overwhelms me every time. Because he's saying, we aren't just like, back in the day, if you were a child, you were still under the ruling of your guardians. So even if you were to inherit something, you didn't have access to it until a set time, until you were older. But right now we have been declared joint heirs with Christ. We have full access to God, full access to his power. I, I My mind can't even take that in, to be put on the same level, to be a sister of Jesus? 
I mean, wow, tell me that isn't powerful. Amen to that. And, and I love how it points out that we are, are the spirit cries out, Abba, Father. And Abba means Father. I mean, the spirit within us is crying out, Father, like Daddy, Daddy. Not just this mystical, imposing, scary being. It's an actual, loving, caring, wrap your arms around you and give you a squeeze. I'm going to carry you through. I'm going to love you. That, that is the kind of father that we have who wants to get to know you, who created you to be this unique, incredible, wonderful person. So when you lose yourself, it's like, man, God created you to be amazing and unique with these personality, special traits, unique gifts and talents. And they're just, they're, they're not just being wasted. They're being forgotten. They're being, they've been lost. And, and it's my heart for you to rediscover yourself bit by bit, to love on yourself so that you can, you can find joy in just who you are, not just your role, not dependent on other people, not dependent on your circumstance, but to love who you are as a person, to know that you personally were fearfully and wonderfully made. It's overwhelming to me, overwhelming, and it's it's absolutely beautiful. If you want to talk more about your faith and beliefs and what this all means, please do drop me a message. Send me an email. Let's connect because I'm bold and I'm thrilled and I want to explore that with you and celebrate as well. Finishing off from my book because I've been – back and forth a little, I want to remind you that, that in the same way your children depend on you for all things, so we depend on God. He will provide for all our physical needs. Our wonderful Father also gives us wisdom, love, forgiveness, and even correction at times. As you move through these devotionals, think about your relationship with God and how that's also reflected in your relationship with your children. As you're growing closer to God, learning principles and truths, you can also apply these to your children. You have many roles in your life, many relationships with family, friends, and work. You are a mother and a daughter and a mother learning to guide at the same time. Some of you might even be trying to reparent yourself. And as you're parenting your own children, never forget who you are, whose child you are, and whose daughter you are. You are dearly loved, my friend. You have this incredible responsibility that can seem to weigh on our shoulders sometimes. You feel like, wow, I'm responsible for their education, and this, and that, and, 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 but you aren't alone. You weren't meant to do this alone. This wasn't all a burden put upon you. Children are a blessing from the Lord. They are a gift from God, and you should be taking joy and pleasure in that wonderful, beautiful gift. So I am, it's, it's overwhelming Sometimes, yes, it's hard, yes, but it isn't meant to be this overwhelming burden. So if you're feeling weary, if you're feeling burnt out, if you're feeling done, I get you. I get you, my friend, especially now the winter's hit, the weather, the pandemic. <clears throat> it's added like 20 more layers onto our already hectic, crazy lives. But you have community, you have friends, and you by far have the most powerful, amazing, wonderful God who wants to pour out more and more and more blessings on you. So when you're sitting around thinking, like, who am I? I'm not worthy. I'm not up for this. 
You're missing out on some incredible blessings that God wants to pour out on you. Let's give you some reflection questions to sit on, think about. And if you have any other comments, please make sure you're typing away, add those in. But I want you to think about these things this week. What hobbies can you share with your children? They might not be as into it, but I tell you, when you take the time to share who you are with your kids, then and take an interest in what they are interested in. Wow, can you imagine the connection? Deep down, we all just want to be known. And you're letting them in, you're being vulnerable, and then they'll be vulnerable back, and you can take an interest, and you might learn something new. I, when I took the time to see what my boys were up on to on Minecraft, I was actually blown away by the intricacy of some of their projects. I mean, they did whole lighting systems and like theme parks, and they'll take what we're learning about in school and then build that in their models. I didn't even know they could do all these things. And when my boys took time to learn about what was important to me, then they valued that more. So they know that mommy's really into herbs and foraging. But they're, they're willing to try my crazy concoctions, including the stinging nettle lemonade I made last night, which the youngest and I liked a lot more than the other two. Um, <clears throat> do you feel deep down that you are a child of God? Wow, that is a deep one because some of you may and may not, but do you feel that deep down? Do you feel loved? How does this affect your relationship with God? How is your relationship with God a reflection of your relationship with your children? Not everybody's even thought of that before. It's like we keep the two worlds separate and our family is our family and our quiet time we do something else and never should they meet except during grace. You know? But wow, it's a direct relationship. You are a child, but you're also a parent. And so you can take what you're learning in one area and transfer that to the next. I'd love to see, and I'm gonna be checking in on you if I can, write down all the things that make you unique and celebrate that amazing person that you are. I did that once and, and it was humbling and awkward for me because I'm not one to give myself praise, you know, but Wow, it was, I made it into a poster and I had that posted up to remind me that I am, like all the characteristics, I am funny, I am caring, I am encouraging, I'm inspiring, all the things I wanted that I, I just, I wasn't living out. I want, I'm a playful, fun person, but you, I lost that. You didn't see that in my life for a long time. So I put that back on and I declared it. I am, I am all these wonderful things. And it made me feel great. And it made me want to do them again because I was reminding myself of who I am. Personally, I love crafts. Anybody in on crafty things, you are my kind of person. I used to actually work as the classroom coordinator at Michael's Craft Store. Uh, I The nature table, if you ever see photos on my other pages of little critters and gnomes and naturey table things, that's for me. I'm sure the kids have thrown a rock or a leaf in there somewhere, but it's my setup. I bought myself Playmobil for Christmas um, because why not? That's just awesome. I love to play. I'm a playful, fun, crafty lady, and I need to make sure I keep up on that so that I can connect with my kids and also find joy for myself, meeting those needs. The book, like I said, not that I'm pushing it too much, but that's what I was reading from today. So that's where I got uh, today's inspiration from. It is available on Amazon and Kindle. If you live locally to me, I actually have some physical copies at the house, so that'll save you on shipping if you want a copy. I am working on expanding this 
and adding some freebies. So in the next month, there will be a new edition on Amazon. The content will be the same. So if you're buying it now, you're not losing out. You actually, um, there's some commas missing. I'm admitting it. I'm going to find the missing commas and put those back in. But I'm adding a page to a special freebie. Because I love to connect with you after. I don't want this to be the end. I want to continue the conversation. So you can join me here in the Gentle Peaceful Parenting Community. Or uh, I, I'll be sending out a message to anyone who does buy the book so that they can get access to the freebies as soon as I have that up and ready. I'm creating a free journal for you to help you think more about those questions, those things to think about in your for yourself and in your parenting. And that's going to be a free journal that you can access through a web page with the book. So if you've already bought the book, make sure you connect with me and I will give you the link for that. The other thing is that I'm going to be developing a full Bible study to go along with the themes that are in the book. And I'm going to be offering that. So if you have a group, if you're in a mommy and me group or a Bible study, maybe your kids are part of a school and you have access to the school community, I would love to come alongside your community in two ways. One is through a Bible study based on the devotional. It's based on, it's going to have parenting and Bible study all in one. It's going to be beyond amazing and I'm going to be offering that free for a while to get some feedback before I produce that as a separate book. The other way I'd love to connect with your community is I'd like you to consider asking, be bold, ask if they have a budget for a speaker because I would love to give a private workshop or a session or some group coaching, whatever that might look like for your specific group rather than me trying to pick one person off at a time and connect with people, I would love to come and support your whole community. We already know that I talk about gentle parenting, emotion coaching, connecting with your children, and that can be Christian or non-Christian, depending on your group. I can talk about homeschooling and working from home. So all these different topics that you see regularly on my feed and in the group here, talk to your group see if there's a group of you that would be interested in having me speak to you directly and running a workshop for you i would love to connect and um i will check in with you again soon thank you so much for joining me coming up in joyful mud puddles in next week i am offering a free group coaching session on zoom it's so ask me for the link send me a message right now anyone listening it's going to be tuesday at two so same time as right now and it's going to be on zoom i'm offering a free group coaching so you can see what that's like also the week after that so the tuesday after that and every other tuesday i'm going to be working through the devotional and bringing some parenting tips directly to you and mom support so the week one after is going to be all about how relationships are at the heart of obedience and i have already done a couple workshops on that and i will have links to all of that soon have a joyful day everyone it's been a pleasure